So far in this course, when you've written SQL queries in the web-based editor, we've hidden away the mechanism that actually connects to a database and runs your queries. Someplace back here, there's actually a database running those queries. Now let's open up this box and see how it actually works. Behind our web server, we're running Python code that connects to an SQLite database using DB API calls. The Python DB API isn't a library, it's a standard for Python libraries that lets your code connect to databases. There are dozens of different libraries for different database systems that follow this standard. The standard specifies what functions you'll call to connect to a database, to send queries, and to get results. So if you learn the DB API functions, you can apply that knowledge with any database system. Although the details of what each database can do are different, adapting Python code from one to another is quite straightforward. But each database system has its own library, and as you can see, some of the library names are a little bit different from the names of the database systems that we work with. For exercises in the browser, we use the SQLite 3 library, 